What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? You need to be sneaky. I have to get your inner solid snake out and sneak your way to victory. <laughs> I said they were doing it. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> You are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. She, see, he's a douchebag all the time. Just sometimes. Just like 75% of the time. And how would we sneak? Oh, we can actually just get downstairs and rip flowers. And get directly into the garage. Hey, who's there? Hey, Chloe, your hair. When did you. Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is. Uh, is something different. <laughs> None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm not gonna stay for very long, Mom. I'm sorry. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. I'm not coming home. Happy, happy Mother's Day. Not staying long. Uh, hap, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. But I'm... But I'm not staying for very I'm long. just here to pick up something. Then I, uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. <sighs> Hanging out with Rachel? Don't worry about it. They're not gonna come for me, so I'm hanging out with Rachel, okay? She needs help right now. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh! See? How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. Yeah. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, <laughs> David has something to say to you. Does he? It won't take but a minute. Okay. What is it? Mom. Are you going to apologize for that stupid empty your pocket bullshit? I'm pretty sure. Chloe. I... Uh, I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I owe you an apology. Yes, you do. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. Do that. I was uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. <laughs> what? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? She's really not having any of that. But okay. Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. Mm-hmm. Anything else? 
I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. I'm sorry, what? This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit, two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. What does that used mean? To joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. Do you? I don't think so. So but... I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Thank you. That's actually pretty sweet of you. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. Sure. I mean, we already established he's just kind of an asshole, not a giant asshole. <laughs> Oh, sure, why not? David looks so young. And this Phil guy... They look close. Yeah, well, that's what, what he just said. Aren't you listening? Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. See? Mom. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you both. Mom. I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I will. Thanks. I love you, sweetheart. All right. All right. See, you do have a loving family. Just a bit more complicated than the soul. Actually, what the hell? It was a bit more complicated than the Rachel situation. Now it's equally complicated. Meh, yeah. Meh, meh. Just gotta grab dad's toolbox and then get out of here. Quick. Yes, but how would you carry the toolbox? Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Sure. Read the fucking manual. It's always the best first step. Are we just gonna walk through the... to the junkyard? That's... Quite far away, isn't it? <laughs> now we're gonna ride there via the train. Maybe not. Are we already already there by magic? I mean, two hours? Hey, Mr. Squirrel. You having a great day? Come on. Yeah, we can do this. Chloe, the, the mechanical, auto mechanic car. Come with me here. Did you break it? We broke it. Damn it. <laughs> I hate this feeling. That is the worst. That happens to me all the fucking yeah. time. <laughs> but still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. 
Oh lord. Need to find the right tool for each problem. Oh shite. Okay. Uh, we got SMS. We got a text from David. Okay. Chloe, this is David. Did my mom give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? I'm sorry, I'm a little busy right now. I'm. Well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. <laughs> he tries so hard sometimes. He tries so hard. And then he fucks up so hard. Let's turn on a radio first. The intake tube. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Really? Better leave it be. Okay. So, what's with the fuel filter? Okay, I thought the radio would give me music and not weird podcast thing. Yeah. This thing is going to fuck up. It's gunked. Does that even mean? It's gunked. Blow? Let's blow. Is that a good idea? Maybe. Sick. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. I'm pretty sure that's not a good thing to do. Swallowing fuel? Or just getting it into your mouth? Okay. Wait, let me let me do something real quick. One of my candles is about to burn out. And replace it real quick. I definitely see some problems. I know. I just need to match them to the right tool. Give me one second. Oh, I can do graffiti? Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Good, cool. It's important to have. What's important to me? To have candlelight in my room every once in a while. So, what is there? What? What? What do we? What? Hmm. What do I see? Is this a Rorschach te test? A lion? A raven? Neither really. <laughs> but I like raven more. <laughs> I know. How would you ride into the fuel? Okay, sure. That works. When life gives you gunk, make uh alt. Oh, yes. Yes. The gunk! It's not like I need a manual. Oh, that's the exact car. Distributor cap. The fuck? The, the, the throttle body, the vacuum pipe, and the what is the f what? Sure. Please don't tell me I need to know that. Please don't tell me I need to know that. Check. What's with the ra what the the radiator cap? What the fuck is it? Huh? This thing seems. Pretty gunked up. Everything is gunked in this car. It's a gank mobile. I think I should move on to something else. Okay. Battery. What's wrong with the battery? I think the battery is cool, right? This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. So maybe I take 
screwdriver what is the what is pl oh pliers like yeah pretty sure not supposed to touch the contact there. points it's like a deadly electric glove a battery like this but if it works I'm pretty sure you know what you're doing. What is this? Oh, that's a part that the... Uh... Oh, shite. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Something small? A screwdriver? Maybe? That's what I always use if I need something. Okay. The fuck are you doing? I just scrape around it, I think. Keep shit distributed. Y yeah. Yes. Oh. Well, fuck. Uh. Oh, the fire light system. Air control, health, ad advers adversary, adversary. Yeah. Cadia Bay, Forest Watch, Columnation State, F Park Fire remains active. Oh, wait, the fire still going? Moderate to heavy smoke expected. Limit outdoor activities. Ooh, that kind of sucks. That's kind of bad, yo. Reattach. From once you came. Do it. Okay. Sure. And now the that thing. What is that? I want that I want that bullet necklace thing. Loose. So bad. Uh probably not with a screwdriver. Also with a wrench? Maybe? Do we know what what kind of Wait, that's not what I have to do. What kind of screws are used with this thing? What kind of screws do you use? Yeah, that seems to work. <sighs> Much better. See, Chloe, the queen of car fixing. Busted. Shit. Carbon deposits. Of course. Of course. Oh. So you're gonna salvage your dad's car or parts. I mean. We learned that he has changed them recently. <laughs> Please, I need you. That was almost too easy. Do you know how to drive a car? You did it. Yeah. Good job. Whoa! Yo, chill. <laughs> and immediately dies. Come on. Don't even know how long this car will... If the brakes even work. Um, Chloe! You're insane, my girl. Yes. Who did it? I should probably uh, clean your hands in some way. Carpet? Sure. A mirror. Yeah. Hey. Junkyard queen. Where are you? Hey. At? Hey, babe. 
What's up, my girl? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... Blue, double D, double die. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was ah. gonna say hot. But yeah, badass too. So hot, damn. Hey, I'm not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Fuck yeah. You got the truck. The truck? The truck. Hey, the move. Price. Nice wheels. Thanks, Frank. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Ah, oh, hi, Damon. Aren't you, big guy? What's he What doing the fuck is happening? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Here. Take it. It's right here. Obviously, I was going to give it to you. You don't have to be such a dick about it. See? It was my plan all along. But give me the hundred bucks. I took that money because of you. Don't give me shit now. You heard what happened to Drew. Right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> Jesus. Rachel. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. Yes. Is that true? That is true. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't. Maybe I'll show you. Show me. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. Uh. I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. I mean, I've been doing his was this man's dirty work, so... disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. Uh, why do you care so much? Uh, it's a. <sighs> I don't think we're in a position to play the tough guy right now. Um, these two could not only beat us up, but kill us in a heartbeat. So how about, she's a friend. She's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Oh, so I know what's Look, happening. None of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? That oh. makes so much sense. He knows about this is James Amber's fucking kid, Damon. Way to go, Dad's Einstein. A real piece of shit, you know. I know. Who cares? 
So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. The fuck this do you want? Is the fucking DA's daughter. DA? And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Bam! Well, go, Rachel. Okay. Now I have to pretty much kill him or you're dead. Fucking bitch! Hit him again. Hit him again. Go for the knife. Oh, the fuck? Come on! What the fuck? Holy shit. I escalated quickly. Go drive the fucking car to a fucking hospital. Holy shit. Why are you gonna have to... Why does have to escalate that quick? I guess both the Damon and Rachel were kind of quick tempered, short tempered, hot tempered. Hmm. That's, uh, that escalated very quick. Um, hey, let's talk about Sarah to, um, yeah, let's get, let's stab someone in the fucking arm. I could have gotten. Way worse. Oh. I know that song. That's daughter again. It's just perfect right now. Come on, Rage, you will be fine. The knife wasn't dirty as fuck, she would probably be fine. <sighs> the fuck? Oh, fireworkers. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. The fuck is wrong with this guy? Chloe, what happened? Fucking... It's my fault? No. We gotta figure out what happened, actually. I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly hmm. who Damon Merrick is. So I guess Sarah and Damon are? Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? Of course we did. I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since you know Sarah. Frank Bowers. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? Uh... 
ask us about? Yeah, he actually wanted to know what, why we want to know who Sarah is. He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing. Nothing, actually. Is that how it became violent? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. The one that dirt on you. Rachel got angry. Let's not involve Rachel's anger into this. <laughs> when you found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. What's a DA? And how did he know that I'm her father? Probably already knew. I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. That's pretty dumb. I Madame keep Rachel. thinking that maybe I could have done something. You could have. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's kind of dumb, yeah. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. Did we? I don't know what happened. Poor Frank. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What also the fuck? See if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. Who cares? What about, what about Damon? We need to get rid of him first. What He's a threat. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all. And then change that. My department's been after him <laughs> for some time. Oh, maybe Frank killed him. <laughs> Probably not. Probably I was not. told that if Rachel had arrived only <clears throat> a few minutes later, she might not have. Um... You sure? Thank you, Chloe. I'm gonna stab her with the arm. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. I, uh, I forgot your name. Oh, poor. Hey. <gasps> Steph, how's Drew? Pretty good. Miss. Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. This will be awkward. Kind of. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Go to the mending machine and get out of order. Come on. Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh man. Jackpot. Um, could you just look away while I slam this thing? Did it work? I didn't. Maybe I get to get her attention away from that. Pamphlets. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died. And not a single one described how I felt. Of course not. Pouch! <laughs> ah! Being in a hospital this long sucks. I know. I 
just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's... Weird. Anything else? Yes? No? Okay. Good. Hmm. I don't think I want to go this way. Oh shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're gonna be oh. a good dad. These two. I guess I'm glad we stole their wine. Are we? Oh, we brought them back together, kind of. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. Attention. Really hope he's okay. Attention, Arcadia Bay Hospital staff. There's been a recent increase of anesthesia compliance from wow drug abuse. Please make sure you are on Uh I don't need to disclosure. Okay. Something about drug abuse. Hi lady. He doesn't want to talk to us. Hey, Grandma! Can I get the candy? Can I get the ca- mm. Can I come? Nope. Cannot even go there. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? She's going- is he, is he going to buy the hospital is and- Is this for real? Um, let's read it like this. Administrator Hofstetter. One of our current patients, Andrew North, is a student of Black Lives Academy who is injured on school grounds. As the, as the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of the school, Blackwood has failed Mr. North in, his, in, in this instance. Who is Andrew North again? I would therefore like to personally and I stress anonymously cover his medical expenses. If I, if I may be, huh? if I may be of assistance in speeding the process, do not hesitate to contact me, Sean Prescott. Who is Andrew North again? It kind of rings a bell. Oh, it's Drew. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Andrew, Drew. Yeah. I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. You're so funny. Okay. So we're just gonna look in the other room. Can I shove it again? Slam. I want to stay sane. I need to stay busy. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is it though? <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. See. I want like twenty more of those. What was that even? It was like a chocolate bar. Graffiti. Yeah. I think this vending machine could be improved. <laughs> oh yeah. I get it. Don't even get to choose. Nobody even cares. Nurse, I'll need my forceps to extract this baby Ruth. Ugh. 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 That's you're the worst, Chloe, you know that. 
it's, it's kind of disgusting. Hi, what? Steph. Still around room 785 in case you forgot. Cool, got it. 785, that's the one. Anthony North. Look, look. Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. Well, now his son deals with drugs. All right, then. Thank you. Oh, is he involved Hi. with... Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm a friend of... I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. Mars, how, how are things? How are... Uh... How are things going? Oh, you know how it is. <laughs> Ups and downs. You know, Drew's hurt. Of course. But, uh, I'm between jobs. So, so? I've got plenty of time to visit. You know? Yeah. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. And we're friends now. I have a question I guess. you can answer. Sure. Sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Mikey uh, as well? I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Uh, I kind of did. Anything's going on with them? Uh, you should ask Drew. <sighs> yeah. You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. Yeah, but selling drugs? We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. But not with selling drugs. Oh, excuse me. Not selling drugs. It's not the right way. But okay. Get it. What else do we have? Just heard the fire I hope Drew is doing better. You mean I should visit him. Probably. It's completely out. What? It Eating the right food keep you healthy and happy. Well, that... Fat hippos looks pretty happy. Uh, yeah, let's let's. Rachel's waiting for me. Oh, shouldn't stay here too long. Chloe, there's Mr. Amber. Rachel, just wake up. Sure, she'd love to see you. Um, should we just avoid this entire Drew thing? Uh, yeah, that's kind of awkward, to be honest. Hmm. Let's just look. Let's look for. Her. Oh, Rachel, she's a bit more important. Oh, fuck Drew, who is that guy? Huh? Who? Drew? Never heard the name before. <gasps> Rachel. Dad. I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? Oh, you look bad, girl. No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. Oh, poor. Poor I'll girl. Come back. In a little while. She lost a lot of blood, did she? Shit. Maybe the stab wound is worse than I thought. <laughs> My guardian angel. Steph says, hey, fuck Steph. How are you? How are you? Not great. <laughs> Don't look Better so great. You here. Oh. <laughs> Poor girl. Rachel. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? What for? <laughs> You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. 
You were so fierce, and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I mean, if they both got stabbed. That would have been... Yeah, they could have both got stabbed if Chloe would have been involved. Eh. It worked out okay, I guess. Just okay with that, as it is. Mm. Don't do that again. I almost lost you. Both? Maybe? I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. <laughs> Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean, I'm still mad at him for everything he's done, but it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe, like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Of course, my dear. Anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. <laughs> after all we've been, after all we've been through... Really? You sure? Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I would still wish I my girl. I don't know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Okay, I guess that's what we're going to do. Then, of course. Whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code really? is zero seven two two. I'm gonna break into the Amber's house. Your dad's office. Zero seven two two. Yeah. My the birthday. The things we're gonna do for you, my I'll girl. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll, I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe, for everything. Well, thank you for surviving. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Sleep well, my girl. Guess I'm gonna look for your mom now. Oh lord. Well, at least she survived with a stab wound to the arm. <sighs> uh, hey, Elliot. Hey. Uh, hot dog man. Hey. Get well soon. Your hair, it's different. Right. Good job. Uh, yeah. Sh Sh Sherlock. Yeah. I like it. It's uh, it's nice. The worst. <laughs> Sorry about the tempest. Nice balloon. How you've been? 
Oh, yeah. uh, how are you doing? How have you been? <laughs> like, uh, since last night? Oh, last Holy night was shit. a... The Tempest was just yesterday. Right? Yes? <sighs> so much has been happening lately. I, I actually brought Rachel here just a while ago. But it feels like forever. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I here to see Drew, I guess. She's keeping it private? She got stabbed. <laughs> Fuck you. I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Yeah, we have to Fuck you. Fuck you for now. That's good. See? God. I guess I'll stop by. After I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. Yeah, I couldn't mess with my girl, Elliot. Be not. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? Uh. Tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Well, yes, I am, but I'll keep you posted. Nothing, nothing we can't handle. We, we got this. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, but, but I'm the badass. But I'm the badass, you're not. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Isn't right? that cool? So what? So, obviously, something is going on. What do you mean? It's really okay. What, what are you talking about? I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. Elliot, I don't know what you're... I trust you. I don't Just even know. I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Thanks. I'm thinking I'm fine. Elliot. Anyway. <clears throat> see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. I think I can handle without Mr. Hot Dog Man on my side. You're the worst, Elliot. Oh! Just in the hospital. What a perfect timing to break into their house and rob them of their... Not rob them, but... Stealing information. Not supposed to have. 